Oh, Excellent. it was great. Have you been here before? No. no. This is our first time. And... Yeah, so that's why I drove right past that sign. <laughs> Stop. No worries. No worries. <laughs> Today we are joined by the founder and owner of iconic Las Vegas gourmet restaurant, Piero's Italian Cuisine. Piero's is known as an old-time Vegas establishment and is frequented by casino bosses, celebrities, and politicians. It is Las Vegas's longest-running family-owned Italian restaurant. Welcome, Freddie Glassman, to On the Corner of Main Street. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hey, Freddie. Sorry that we're late. I'll take care of that later. <laughs> my, my apologies. Uh, we tried our best not to be. But I, Lisa introduced this restaurant in a very nice way. But I'd love to hear how you describe Piero's to people as the founder and owner from day one. What do you say to people when they say, what is Piero's? What do I say to people when they come in? Well, how do you, yeah, how do you describe the restaurant to someone that, that has never been here before? Las Vegas' longest standing restaurant, Italian restaurant, the best food in Vegas. I don't even talk to them. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, we made it to Piero's Italian restaurant here in Las Vegas. Uh, owned and operated by Freddie Glussman, who was a guy that has been in Vegas for many, many, many years in the 50s. Uh, owns lots of properties and businesses and knows just about everybody in Vegas. Super cool guy. Um, we heard him on the, the corner of Main Street podcast from the plaza and it's the most epic you know interview <laughs> that they've done we yeah. think thus far yeah. uh, just a really cool character we had heard about this place when we did the mob tour the Frank Collada mob tour um, only because they mentioned a uh, part of the movie casino was filmed like around here there's a scene where um, Sharon Stone gets pushed outside. I think they filmed a piece of that yeah. out here. Um, but we've also heard that all the locals swear by this place, you know, so that the food is top notch. Yeah. So. And they say you haven't been to Piero's until you've been insulted by Glussman, Mr. Glussman. <laughs> so we're hoping that we are insulted somehow tonight wow, as look we at walk me. in. He's going to make fun of me. Maybe. Him. Maybe. Uh, Your tennis uh, shoes, probably. Yeah. Who knows? Everything. So we'll see you guys inside. Set this down, guys. Right over to get your order. Awesome. Thank you. 
So I asked the server to get me uh, to see if the bartender can make me a mocktail, just anything that's got mint in it. I don't know what this is called yet. I'll have to think of a new name uh, for this drink here, Piero. But it's good. I like it. It's minty. All right, you're going to try the bread? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mr. Glussman says a successful restaurant is about the bread and the salad. Yes. That takes priority. He did so, say say that. Let's try. Oh man, it's nice and warm. <laughs> You're supposed to use a knife to spread the butter on there, Michael. <laughs> Okay, so we're perfect. Of course. Of course. Of course. I can take that off now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Crunchy outside, soft inside. Really, I don't know. It is good bread. I can't. Is it like a sourdough? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's the bread. We can, we can be all grabby with it since it's just us. And we're married and we share germs. Right. You know how Tucson is about germs. If it gets in the way, hit him again. Enjoy, folks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Keep on hitting it. It's good. Caesar salad coming next. A lot of the It's good. Like you said, it's like crunchy on the outside, but soft in the inside. I like it. It's good bread for the scarpetta. Yes. No. Okay, what did you think of the Caesar salad since you didn't wait for me to come back from the restaurant? I couldn't wait. Excellent. You know me, I'm all about the greens. Uh-huh, sure you are. <laughs> it is. It's really good. Very yeah. good. All right, I'm going to try it. There we go. Okay. Caesar salad. Hold on, let me get a shot. There it is. It, believe me, it's green, guys. The lighting's a little dark in here. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. No. What'd you order? Uh, rigatoni bolognese. Oh, yeah, I saw I saw the steam Damn. coming off of that. <laughs> you lost the rigatoni. People that, that don't know, al dente is like when the noodles are not completely cooked, you know, they're still kind of chewy, not like soft. That's how it is, and that's that's how you know they get it, right? Yeah. It's just better that way. And, and the, the meat's sauce is great, the meat is great. Nice. I like it. Two thumbs up. Uh, compared to your mama's cooking? Wow, for my mama. <laughs> Alright, so I ordered the linguine pomodoro with added shrimp. Shrimps. Shrimps. Sorry, people. She's shrimps. I she's not sophisticated. Shrimp eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, let me try this. Mm. It's a, on the sweet side, oh. but um, it's good though. Yeah. It's good. It's um, light. Uh, pasta is al dente. I'm going to try a shrimp here. Oh. Oh. I made a mess. <laughs> I think I've got sauce all over my face. Mm -hmm. I have it butterfly shrimp style, so I couldn't really get in there, but it's good.
Oh, Rob's a good dish. Linguini pomodoro. That was an excellent meal. Like, I would come back here. Yes, yeah, Again and again and again. <laughs> we're definitely coming back. This is great. Yes. Yeah. So look at all this right here. Oh, sorry. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting a tip. Oh, Excellent. it was great. Oh. Been here before? No. no, this is our first time. And yeah, so that's why I drove right past that sign. <laughs> Stop. No worries, no worries. <laughs> so what happened is I didn't realize that here at Piero's, the experience is all about stopping right here and uh, they valet your car for you. It's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They valet your car free. It's part of the experience here at Piero's. And I totally <laughs> rushed by them. So anyway, that's uh, that, that adds a nice little classy touch to it. Which we should have known because it was on the podcast. Yeah. He talked about. Which podcast? The On the Corner of Maine. Yeah. So the bread, the salad, and the valet <laughs> are his three. His three uh, non-negotiables. For a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs>